I have liked writing almost ever since I can remember. I certainly always loved reading as well. But it was when I was 17 and in my last year of high school that I began work on what would become my first published novel, Desolate Beauty. And my love of writing has continued to grow since then. I remember that moment I had when I realised that I actually really wanted to be an author. But it's one thing to dream thing and certainly another to pursue that into fruition. So when Desolate Beauty was first published, it was very exciting. I remember getting the book and flipping through back and forth between the pages and thinking to myself, I wrote this story. It was very surreal. I sometimes experience writer's block if I'm feeling a bit stressed and mentally distracted. It's always really hard to be creative if that's how you're feeling, so I know just to stop and deal with that first before trying to write. The other time is if I'm starting to engineer a story rather than write it from the heart um, because if you don't write it from the heart then you, your readers won't, their hearts won't be touched either. So I just stop and ask myself, am I writing about what I'm really passionate about? Am I writing what I really want to say? If I were to describe my writing in three words, I would say honest but hopeful. I started writing for teenagers when I was a teenager because I wanted to write stories that were realistic and relatable for teenagers because so many of the books I read didn't feel like that that's what they were. I think a good book can inspire, educate and, and comfort us and a really good one can leave you feeling a little less alone and I think that's really important for teenagers. I wanted to write stories where characters worked through their issues and where my readers could hopefully look at that and think, I can do this too. I think one of the main challenges of young adult fiction is making sure that your work stays relevant for the youth of today. When I started writing, I was a teenager, so that was really easy, but time has passed since then, so I have to make a conscious effort to make sure my writing is relevant. I'm lucky in that I work with teenagers in a social work context, so that keeps me up to date with the many issues that they are facing, but I also make an effort to read other authors, young adult fiction, so I can see what our teenagers are reading. the history of the Great Depression to be quite an interesting one. It's a bit of a quiet chapter in between the world wars that doesn't get spoken about quite as much. So I wanted to explore what would it have been like for a teenager to live in a period like that. And what I found out is that teenagers back then had many of the same issues as teenagers today, particularly around identity, relationships and coming of age. I hope that the readers of my books feel inspired about their future, that they realise that they're not the only ones going through difficult periods and that there is hope. And I also hope that they learn the value of family, friendships and just being themselves. I learned a lot about writing from journaling, about my daily experiences. It helped me to develop my own style of writing while paying attention to the way people behave, including myself. Because writing's a lot to do with psychology. So pay attention to the people around you, pay attention to why they do things and how they do things so you can create characters that are believable. And don't be afraid to start now because it's never too early and you're never too young. If I could meet with any writer, past or present, I think I would choose Jane Austen because I'd love to have a chat with her about the challenges she faced as a single woman writing in a period when it wasn't really socially acceptable for her to do so. And I'd love to talk to her about how she overcame those obstacles to create books that actually have a lot of value and meaning for us today.